Hey guys, so I wanted to show you guys how to do a burnt effect on your face. Um, things that I'm going to be using is going to be liquid latex. I actually got this from um, Party City. It's a local um, party store. Um, and you can use it anywhere in the eyes, but like it, I'm sorry, anywhere in the eyes. Anywhere around the face, body, um, just avoid like really close contact to the eyes or the mouth. Um, also vampire blood, same thing. Don't put it too close to your eyes or um, near your mouth or inside your mouth. Um, not recommended. Um, I was reading the directions and everything like that. And um, also toilet paper. I'm going to be using toilet paper, foundation to my skin tone. I'm going to be using also eyeshadows, matte shades. This one is 391 from Inglot Cosmetics. This one is 383. It's an orange. And these are all matte shades. And this one is 325. Um, it's a purple. And a red shade, it's a 382. All right, and these are all matte shades. Brushes that I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using a foundation brush to apply um, my foundation. And then a few blending brushes to apply on um, the shadow. All right, so let's begin. So think, I know um, some people can use like sponges. Um, I'm actually going to be using a, it's like a lip brush, so I'm, I'm going to be depositing, and I'm only going to do like a certain section of my face, I'm not going to do like a whole thing, but just so you guys have an idea of how to achieve a burnt effect, and you have to work fast too because, you know, latex does dry quick, alright. Also, if you are allergic to latex, I won't probably recommend um, using this. Alright, so I'm just going to cut like pieces. Just that way it's all um, wacky. It looks all weird. Okay, just put that on. And then grab your brush. I'm just gonna be oops. Sorry, I'm trying to work quick here. Um, I just did latex, I cut some like pieces. Um, that way, you know, it could look like a burnt fleshy wound. So kind of, you know, you could be creative however you want. So um now what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be coloring. So getting my foundation. And I'm just gonna be grabbing like a foundation brush. Um, where do I put it? Foundation brush. And just put it like to your skin tone, what have you. And I know like this isn't gonna be really, you know, to my skin tone because I need to, I have like different color pigmentation so I have to use, of course, um, whatchamacallit. How should I explain it? I have like yellow and pink pigmentation, so I have to mix my shades. Completely up to you. Just want to make sure to saturate all this. See all the paper? It's, you could see. Make sure to saturate all that. That way it looks all, ugh, all nasty. All right, so now what I'm gonna be doing, grab a blending brush, dip it into the black shadow, and I'm just gonna do like little strokes around. That way it kinda looks like a, you know, a burnt effect. You can be creative however you like. And make sure to um let the uh, latex dry too. That way it has, and you don't have to be perfect, precise in this, so just be creative however you want. All right, just go around however you want. Okay, I'm going to grab an orange eyeshadow, 
with the same brush that I just, you know, blended and be creative. I'm just dabbing wherever I want. Completely All right, up to so you. So now um, I kind of just like shaded a little bit more around um, in the block, like with the black shadow. And now what I'm doing, I'm grabbing a purple and I'm going to just go in and, you know, just shade in there. Once again, it doesn't have to be perfect, however you want. I'm just stippling. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to just take that off. <laughs> it's bothering me. Now I'm grabbing the red. Red shade. Once again, however you want. Just gonna make sure to stipple that on. More gearing towards like the center. Okay. Move the orange just a little bit. going to do like sporadically all right and now the dirty part now I'm gonna grab the vampire blood and just stipple it it's pretty gross so that way you know that it looks and you could use a sponge, preferably. I just couldn't find any sponges. I don't know why. All right. Well, you guys have an idea on how to accomplish kind of, you know, a burnt effect. So and you could blend it however you want. Completely up to you. So. Okay. Well, until then, that is your burnt Halloween fleshy, however you want to describe it. Well, burnt effect. Um, so yeah. All right. Well, until then, make sure to subscribe up on top. And if you have any comments, leave them down below. All right. Until then. Bye guys.